On this episode, I'm going to show you how to copy and paste effects from one clip to another or to multiple clips for both the edit and color page. This is essential for speeding up your editing workflow. I prepared a clip with video, audio, and color effects applied. Notice in the inspector, I have applied a little bit of zoom. From the effects tab, I am using stereo width and a limiter. And on the color tab, located down here, I have a three node node tree on the clip with changes on each node as you see here. I'm skipping using the Fusion page just to keep this simple, but for anyone using it, everything I'm showing you is relevant. From the Edit page, which is this tab down here, select the clip that has the effects you applied from the Effects panel on the left, toggled with this button. Select your Source clip on the timeline and hit Ctrl C, or right click on the clip and select Copy from the Context menu. Then select the destination clip you want to apply those effects to. To select multiple clips, control click each clip or click select a series of clips. Once the clips are selected, as indicated by the red outline around them, either hit Alt or Option V to bring up this context menu, or right click on the selected clip or clips and choose Paste Attributes. Select the appropriate effects you want to paste. The most common effects are the ones in video attributes like zoom, crop, and position. However, if you applied open effects that you dropped from the effects panel on the left, then check the box labeled plugins here from the context menu. You can also paste color correction or grading by checking the color correction box, fusion effects from the fusion tab by checking the fusion effects box, and audio effects that you dragged and dropped from the left by checking the plugins box under the audio attribute section, as well as other options should you need them. Now notice the open effects are copied over as indicated by the active effects button in the inspector panel. So this takes care of most of your copy and pasting needs from the edit page. Now let's see how to copy and paste color changes from the color page. Firstly, certain UI panels may or may not be visible. So to normalize everyone's layout to minimize frustration trying to locate UI settings, make sure that clips is toggled on as well as timeline, nodes, and effects on the top right. By the way, if these clips look the same, you can left click on the clip itself and drag your mouse to position the inherent playhead to display a static frame within the clip. This helps to differentiate between clips from the same take. Select the clip that has the node tree of the color changes you made and hit Ctrl C or go to edit from the menu bar at the top left of the screen and select copy. Now, to paste the entire node tree to another clip or clips, you can either select the destination clip or hold down the control button to select more than one clip. Then hit control V or click edit from the menu bar and select paste. Another way to paste an entire node tree instantly without copying anything first is to select one or more clips that you want to change. Then click the mouse wheel on the clip that has the color correction you want. Now your color correction grade is copied over. This method is great for testing out different node trees from other clips on a destination clip or clips. Be aware that any of these copy and paste methods will overwrite the destination color correction or grades that already exist. A common task is to copy a single node from one clip to another. Select the source clip, then select the node within that clip that has the changes. Hit Ctrl C and then click the destination clip. Now this is important. You need to click on an available node or hit Alt or Option S to make a new inline node after a selected node or Shift S for one before. If you don't, then you'll have to overwrite an existing node. Either way, you have to click on the node you want to paste to, even if it appears selected. Once you click the node, hit Ctrl V to paste the node attributes. One last method. You can copy the corrections on the source clip using whichever method you like, click a destination clip, then hit Alt or Option V, or select Edit from the menu bar, then Paste Attributes. This dialog then appears with custom pasting options. If you need this method, then now you have it. And that's essentially it. Hopefully this fulfilled most people's needs. If not, let me know in the comments. Once again, thank you for watching, and as always, go capture that once in a lifetime moment.